So here we have the Volkswagen Golf R-Line. This is the Mark 8 Volkswagen Golf. I'm gonna start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. So as you can see, this car's got reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the 60-40 split folding rear seat. We've also got that ski hatch should you need access to the rear seats from there. And then underneath this tray section, a space saver spare wheel. Just briefly before we climb in, I think that's why we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dial area here. So you can see in the middle, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. It will tell you uh, what driving mode you're in. So we're in comfort mode at the moment. Uh, you can change that to sport. Eco, and I'll show you that in a bit more detail in just a moment. And then we have various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information in that central section as well. If I back out to the steering wheel, on the right hand side, we've got uh, controls that will enable you to change the information that you see displayed in this central section. And they are just here. We've also got stereo controls and then volume controls here for the stereo. Also over on that right hand side, we have a heated steering wheel. You can turn that on and off and it will come up in this central section to let you know that you've done that. So it's on, uh, I've now turned it off again. On the left hand side, we have cruise control with speed limiter. This car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front automatically, both speeding up and slowing down, depending on the car in front speed. That's the button that activates it. And we've done a video showing how that works. You'll find on our YouTube channel and on our website as well. Over in the center, we have the touch screen for the car. So. That will take you back to the home screen. From the home screen, you can access uh, your telephone, radio and media, your navigation. There's a full video showing how the satellite navigation works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, when it comes to the radio and media section, you can see there we have FM uh, and DAB radio, as well as internet radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. There's plenty of ways of doing that. Uh, Bluetooth audio would be your main one. Uh, where you can stream your music wirelessly as well as making and receiving phone calls of course through bluetooth as well working our way down from that we have this collection of buttons just here uh, so we can uh, access our rear parking camera with that button press that you can either do that by hitting reverse obviously and that will come up automatically or you can press the button to bring the camera up and i mentioned driving modes before that is where you can change the car from eco comfort, sport, or individual. And under individual, you'll be able to customize the settings as you wish to have them using this menu just here. Um, whatever mode you put it in will obviously affect the driving of the car, but it will affect the color of the dials in that central section as well. We then have the button that starts and stops the engine, a six speed manual gearbox, electronic handbrake with auto hold function. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.